packaging one guys. So today we're going to be working on removing the walls and that's pretty much the last bit of our demo that we have to do. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed but I am using a brand new camera so the quality might be a little better. I hope it is better because uh, I spent a lot of money on it. But anyways, uh, yeah once this is done then we get to move on to the sub flooring and the insulation which I'm, I'm pretty excited about because that means that's the next step to starting the actual structure of the bus and building the walls and I don't know I'm just excited about that so uh, yeah we're just gonna jump right into it as you can see I will not be using the drill and chisel method I tried doing that a little bit and it just wasn't for me it was taking way too long too much work so uh, what I'm gonna try to do is using the good old angle grinder and see how far that gets me and if it ends up being too much work then I guess I'll try a different method That's one corner. Now the rest of the bus, which wasn't too hard. All right, let's get back to it. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty. Using the grinder is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. The rivets are coming out fairly quick. It's just so many of them, it's just very time consuming. Since we don't have much time left in a day, I decided to ask my sister's boyfriend if we could use his spare angle grinder and his super long extension cord. Now that we have that, we can do twice as much work, twice as fast, and Christina can finally help me remove some of the wall paneling. And hopefully we can get this done a lot sooner. So far, this is what I've gotten done. And... I tell you what, the angle grinder makes it pretty easy. It's it's a it's a wee bit time consuming, but it makes it a lot easier than using the drill and the chisel. Now, for what I did with the uh, emergency exit, I pretty much just took the whole window out. I didn't put that on video because I wanted to make sure I did it right before I put it out for you guys. And 
We still have three more left to do, so I'll be sure to film that and show you exactly how I did it. And uh, enough of the talking, it's time to get back to work because we don't have much time left. So we got almost half the bus done and the sun is starting to go down so we're going to have to call it a night. I'll probably do a little bit more tomorrow before I go to work but I might not have enough time. And if that's the case we probably won't be able to finish the walls until Monday and that means we probably won't have the vlog up a few days until a few days after. So uh, yeah we'll see how that goes. If I have time I'll work on the bus tomorrow. Today is currently... Saturday the 22nd, so that's two days ahead from when we first started our project and uh, today we're gonna try to finish removing all the walls and this is what we've got done so far and uh, Christina's gonna be working on our steps which uh, I don't know if any of you guys have this problem with your steps but ours is pretty rusty and we don't really know how or what to go about on how to repair the rust because all of this top part is rusted and rotted like we can literally just like rip this off that's how bad it is so if any of you guys have advice on how to repair that please feel free to uh, drop it in the comments and let me know how you went about to fix yours So I just got to my last exit window so this clip is probably going to be put in the video randomly. From the previous videos that I've watched on YouTube when people are removing their walls they never explain how to get the rivets that are underneath the emergency exit here. And what you're pretty much going to have to do is remove this whole emergency exit window to access the rivets that are underneath the paneling here. And the way to do that is taking these four screws off here and then there's going to be about nine little screws that you have to remove as well. Once you get that off, you pop the window out. I know that might seem a little intimidating to some of you. I know it's very intimidating for me to remove your whole window because we don't plan on touching our windows in our build. But some of you may see that and be like, oh, that's easy, that's no problem. I'm gonna end up skipping the unscrewing of the screws because you guys know how to unscrew screws and then I'll jump to the clip of when I have the window out. Okay, so I just finished removing all the screws and next thing you have to do is pop the window out. And you put some force into it. out like that and what I like to do is put the window upside down that way I can access the, the core Starting. and once you take the windows off you have these rivets here and now you can access these rivets and pop them out however you choose to do so as you can see in our previous clips we're using the angle grinder so we're gonna grind these rivets off and then you're gonna want to pop the paneling off before you put the window in. So once you get the window completely out, there's gonna be your alarm here that's connected to underneath the window. And it's actually very simple. I don't know if uh, your bus will be the same, but this is all we had to do to remove our alarm, is to remove this screw right here. So you'll just need a flathead screwdriver to get it out and just take it out. And there you go, That's this is the cord that's causing that buzzer to go off if your window's open. And uh, 
And I advise you to, if once you do remove this, go and try to start your bus and see if there's the alarm going off or not. And if it's not, then <clears throat> just remove the cord from here and pop the window back in and put the screws back in and it's that simple. We're gonna end the video off here um, because we're losing our daylight. Um, so we're gonna still keep working. We still have a lot of bolts to get grinded off. So we're probably gonna work until it gets a little bit darker. But we did get a lot done today. We almost have the walls completely off, which is really awesome. Yeah, uh, we'll show you the progress of what we've done so far, which is we took off the whole, the whole right side of the bus already and we pretty much have all of the bolts, the uh, rivets off on the left side, which means uh, all we have left are the panels on the, in the front of the bus to the left. Also, I wanna add that uh, we just hit over 100 subscribers and that completely blows our mind because we've only been vlogging for about three weeks now. To a lot of people that may not seem like a lot, but to us, it's, it's a lot for us. A hundred people are subscribed to us and it's just growing as the day goes by and I really appreciate the positive support that we've been getting from everyone and everyone's just been so helpful it's been nothing but positivity which is what we preach in every video and that's what it's all about is just being positive and you know working towards your dreams and doing what you truly love we really appreciate it a lot so uh, stay tuned because we're gonna keep trying to give you guys content and we we also wanted to let you guys know that eventually we will come to a pause we're still gonna put up content but it but most likely it won't be bus related it'll be challenge videos it'll be us being ourselves I'm looking forward to that too and I want you guys to learn more about us and who we truly are and yeah I'm excited for it uh, thank you a lot. Yes, thanks again. We we love it. We really appreciate it. So we're going to end the video off here. And like we say in our videos in the past, always stay positive.